Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Murray State's John Morant, who will soon be a top five pick in the 2019 NBA Draft. You may know of him from his jaw-dropping dunks, but the 6'3 point guard has a complete game that can translate to the next level. And I'll admit it, I'm late on making this video because this guy has been dominating all year. And for that, I apologize to Ja, to Murray State, to you the viewer, uh, but I got news for you. I ain't sleeping no more. Today, we'll look into Morant's inspiring story of dedication and persistence, even when the offers weren't coming, and we'll break down his game as well. I wanna start by giving a shout out to Marin Fader for her article on Bleacher Report titled, Everyone's Fallen for John Morant. It includes a look into the life of Murray State's 19 year old sophomore point guard who scored a 99 overall rating on NBADraft.net and has drawn comparisons to De'Aaron Fox and Russell Westbrook due to his pure athleticism. Morant is in the spot like now and that'll only grow as the NCAA tournament is upon us and the NBA draft is just a few months out. It wasn't always this way though as Morant went unranked in high school in the small town of Dalzell, South Carolina. Why am I not one of the top players? He'd ask himself. Why aren't I being talked about? These were the questions he pondered as he stayed working on his game. Even as recruiters flocked to his SC Hornets AAU games to watch his star teammate Zion Williamson, he kept a good attitude and he stayed persistent. Maryland Eastern Shore and South Carolina State were his only offers until this happened. James Kane, who's now an assistant for Coach Prome at Iowa State, just wandered into a back gym in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and sees this 6'3 point guard, calls me up and says, uh, this kid's gonna be a pro. Morant found himself at home in Murray, and after losing in the first round of the NCAA tournament last year to West Virginia, he promised he would return on Twitter, and that promise he kept. Morant burst onto the national scene social media wise after a tomahawk dunk in the closing seconds of a road loss at Alabama early this season. He followed that play up with a couple of other memorable ones throughout the year like dunking over 6'8 Quentin Dove of UT Martin in Vince Carter-like fashion and this utter explosiveness right here against Eastern Illinois. I mean, come on now. But Morant's game goes beyond the posters and the highlight plays. Murray State coach McMahon calls Morant a basketball genius and a once in a lifetime player. His passing ability is elite along with his basketball IQ, and he wants to guard the opposing team's best player. All right, you may say, yeah, okay. We've seen players from weaker conferences that can't match up against real competition, so what makes Morant different? How about this? At Alabama, who just missed the NCAA tournament, Morant dropped 38 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. At Auburn, the 14th best team in the country, Morant posted 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. He is averaging 24.6 points, 5.5 rebounds, and leading the nation in assists at 10.3 per game. In addition to being the Ohio Valley Conference Player of the Year, Morant is up for National Player of the Year. Just look at some of his accomplishments throughout the season. Pause the video if you have to because this really speaks volumes to his game. I'm just saying, if De'Aaron Fox can be successful in the NBA, there's no reason why John Morant can't be as well, as his game and ability translate perfectly into the modern NBA's up-tempo pace. And here's the fun part. Are you ready for this? Man, you better get ready if you're not. Oh boy, Morant's racers are the 12th seed in the West region. They're going up against the 5th seeded Marquette. This means we get to witness John Morant versus Marcus Howard. Marcus Howard is Marquette's 5'11 scoring machine machine at the point guard. At 25 points per game, Howard sits one spot above Morant on the D1 scoring list. It just don't get better than that, man. Whether you're watching this video before we know the result or after, Morant has definitely opened the eyes of many people this year, including yours truly. And I look forward to seeing him make the transition to the NBA as a top five pick in June. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is John Morant's game above the hype? Remember, subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!